So in my own words, kilaho olelo ku pono. We look at the root word, yeah, that pono. Pono, everything that is just, right, true, genuine. And when we ku pono, we stand on these things. So the decisions that we make, our actions, our reactions, our responses, all of that is affected by um, what is right and what is just, yeah? And you know, when we look at um, to ku pono, it's within all of us. It's not unique to a race or ethnicity or a religion, but it's within all of us. Yeah, so when I think of kupono, it's all that is right within our na'au, within our gut. And from there, it filters out to our ola, to our life and all that we do. I think what makes kupono so important is because um, it's in everyone, yeah? And so if we all can act on this righteousness, this um, aloha, can you just imagine what kind of world we would live in? So when we look at what is right and what is just, you know, in our Eola learning outcomes, we look at it as being the a'a. Yeah, it's this root from which everything just flourishes from. And we can even look at our olelo no eyao um, when we think about the kahua the foundation, and from that foundation, everything is built upon. And it is so, so crucial when we look at our our characteristics of being kupono, because if it is not nourished, yeah, like that ah uh -uh, if it's not nourished with the vai and with the teachings, um, it can be neglected and put to the side, or when hanaid, and malama, when we care for it properly, oh, that kukulu, the growing of it. And that's what we want. That's what we want for our school. We want to nourish and malama this a'a -a so that it becomes this huge, beautiful tree that branches out that provides malu and mea'ai and shelter for all those things that we could gather together within our community. When I look at just our our school surroundings and everyday happenings. You know, I think about my colleagues, my colleagues who will go out of their way to cover classes, even though they have a huge workload uh, because of the situation that we're in, you know? Just knowing that kupono means that we, we love ourselves enough <laughs> that we put ourselves like in the back, second. Yeah, so that we can help others. So I think about the colleagues that stepped forward to um, kokua one another. And then I also think about, you know, my students. Every morning, I will come to work, and I come pretty early, like 7, 7, 10-ish. And I come with house and lot. I have coffee in one hand, I have my ekekua, my backpack, my purse, you know, sometimes I have my ukulele, and I'm walking to Keanolani Learning Center, and the students who get there at like about 6.45, I don't even need to ask. They were literally, oh, Kumukanani's coming, okay? Press, press the pihi, open the door, or, or they'll physically open the door, you know, and I, I don't even ask them, but they see the need and they act on it. And so those are some of the things that just come to mind. We are La Anna. We are the example. We are who our students see when they walk into the papa. That alone is a huge ha'avina for our haumana. That is like the lesson in itself. If I expect my haumana to ho'ihia'u, to respect me as a kumo, I gotta remember that I need to give them respect to for their own beliefs. Even when I discipline, because it's kumo, we need to discipline. That's kupono too. We're not gonna let, you know, some of their their actions or what they say. We, we can't kiloi maka au au. We, we don't throw those to the sides. We, we act on those things. But one important way is just for us as teachers to be the example to them. If I expect my haumana to be compassionate to one another, well then I need to show my compassion to my haumana as well and giving them that individual attention. So to me, the biggest way we as Kumu can demonstrate that is if we are the example ourselves to them. You know, with Kupono, um, it doesn't, I guess exclude any religion, it doesn't exclude any ethnicity or race. 
yeah? And that's, and that's why we cling to it too. As a Christian school, I look at, and this is not a memory verse, however, I, I teach my Haumana the poem from um, Marianne Williamson, and she says, um, this light is within all of us. Not just some of us, but we all have it. And us, in the Paipala, it does say that, you know, that lama kukui, that light from within, is ke mana loa. So we are to share that. And as Hawaiians, we know from our kupuna how to act towards others. It's, it's that ike kupuna that they've instilled with us. And to balance it, a'ole pilikia, because kaulike, it, it's the same. It comes from within. But our kuleana is, do we just keep that light to ourselves or do we ka'ana? Do we share it out? You know, and sometimes it gets a little intimidating. We want to do what is right, but our friends may laugh at us, our co uh, maybe colleagues might kind of, why are you doing that for? But you know what, eh, lu'u vale ikahana. If we know that our actions um, are right and true and helping others, we need to lu'u vale. Yeah, mai makau, don't be afraid to do what is right and to do what is just, because we see that in so many of our Hawaiian mo'olelo, yeah? Our kupuna were afraid. Our kupuna were afraid to stand up for their nation, but they did, because it was the right thing to do. For me, my strength comes from Keakua. You know, I really lean on him to get me through those moments. And so when we look at our Hawaiian side, you know, for me, I feel so blessed because they blend so well because my kupuna were Hawaiian and their values were the exact same. Um, as Hawaiians, we look at the teachings of our kupuna. When um, we saw we saw their struggles and we saw that their struggles didn't um, cause them to become so angry or aggressive, yeah? but it just gave them more strength to persevere, fighting for you know our sovereignty and really, really looking at our kupuna, backing up our queen. I mean, look at the beautiful mele that she wrote too. You know, my nana ina ino. Okay, I, I will not look at their troubles. I'm not gonna look at their heva kiakua, but you, you give me your strength. I would strongly, strongly urge you to lean on your ike, your knowledge, um, your faith, your culture, and um, just looking at what your grandparents did or looking at um, your ancestors and the mo'olelo and to gather strength from there because we're, we're all okoa. Don't feel like you have to become more Hawaiian. A'oleloa. Rely on what you know to get you through what you need to get through. Yeah? And then email me. I'll pull it for you too. I pray for I pray for you. Just kelly kiko maya Bye.